is this blow dryer worth four hundred and twenty nine dollars uh -huh, honey. okay so i know what you're thinking this is a video about a blow dryer and blowing my hair out and why am i starting the video with twist listen okay <laughs> i'm taking the twist down i am going to just talk about the blow dryer before we actually get into the demonstration of said blow dryer mm -hmm. your girl went and splurged like splurged splurged on a dyson blow dryer first of all what possessed me to buy a 429 blow dryer the sephora vib sale <laughs> okay so i bought the blow dryer during the sephora vib sale and it ended up costing me like 350 which was great compared to the 429 i also did same day shipping so somebody pulled up to your girl's crib brought it out and i was so happy i actually talk about the process and like me buying it and stuff like that in my vlog for november so that should be out by the end of the month so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that the dyson came with this case i got the limited special edition blue veer mm, blue something child also is rose gold this is what it looks like isn't it freaking pretty like it's so freaking pretty so let's plug her up real quick so you have the power button the power button is here you just push it up this button here tells you like the airflow basically so if you want like low medium high airflow so that's high medium and then low and then this button here is the temperature settings so you have three temperature settings so you have the hottest medium hot i guess and then low hot and then this is like the cool shot so you know how you have a regular blow dryer and you press the button and it makes the air like warm or cool or whatever that's what this button is down here and then it came with all these different attachments this is probably gonna be one of my favorite ones so the magnetic is real strong so just like that you can turn it do it y'all know i like to do it like this it's so lightweight it's so lightweight compared to my old blow dryer so this is my old blow dryer and then this is the dyson so this is what it looks like comparable to this like this one is so heavy this one is so light so that's gonna already be like one of my pros for this thing is that it's so light and so easy to maneuver basically it has a comb attachment child we're gonna see if this comb attachment actually work when i start ripping and running through my hair okay it has a diffuser attachment not sure what this is supposed to do but maybe it's a little diffuser i don't know and then this is to get flyaways um so you like put it on your hair and like push it down to get flyaways i'm about to take my hair out and then wash it deep conditioner deep condition it all of the things and then i'm gonna come back and demonstrate actually using it for y'all and then i'll let y'all know my final thoughts at the end of the video whether i think it's worth it if you should run out and get one if i buy it again if i'm taking it back okay so real quick real quick i took the twist out and my hair is giving it's giving okay let me zoom y'all out just a little bit. I tried to zoom y'all in because I have on a sports bra. So I pulled out a section, a bigger section than I normally would just because this thing seems powerful, y'all. I'm going to use the one with the comb because I know some of y'all was cringing at the fact that I used the concentration nozzle and a brush with two hands. <laughs> I also want to see how strong this magnet is. And I don't think I'm going to use it on high heat well let's do it and just see okay, so i definitely need to use medium heat y'all this thing dried in one minute okay i started it okay two minutes i started it at 6 33 it's 6 35 so i'm gonna let y'all see the timing 
like in real life because that was that was a little crazy and i'm gonna turn it down i'm gonna turn the heat down because that thing okay 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 can't make this up it's 6 37 i showed it to y'all at 6 35 wait do i even need to flat iron it i'm a little freaked out i'm a little freaked out it's 6 40 6 40 we're gonna do this whole section at once I can't y'all I can't make this up I can't make this up like I said that if this thing is not amazing then it's going back I'm gonna just save my thoughts to the end one tip I've learned um, so far is that if you want to get your roots like the actual roots you have to pull your hair up like this and then comb like you can't just be lazy with it okay you can't just be lazy but you gotta like pull your hair up and then comb into it and get your roots like that what the blowout is giving just the blowout part not any type of flat iron it is 649 and I started blowing my hair out at 633 mind you I'm a mother okay my son definitely busted in here already <laughs> this is amazing okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and flat iron my hair and then I'm gonna come back and just show you the final results of my actual hair and then give my final thoughts on the blow dryer okay so we're back it is 7:29, aka 7 30. this is what my hair is giving very much flowy very much body very minimal frizz so I am going to chalk that up to the blow dryer because I had very minimal frizz during the blowout. Like during the physical blowout, I have very minimal frizz. And so I'm thinking that is what contributed to this silky frizzless blowout. Let's talk about it. So is this blow dryer worth $429? I would say the only true test to know that it's worth $429 is if it lasts me over 10 years. <laughs> if it works the same way it worked today, 10 years in the future, it would be extremely worth it, but we don't have that type of time. But because of the results that I got, the lightweightness of it, um how easy it was to blow dry my hair i've never blow dried my hair with a comb attachment and it got this flat so it made my life a lot easier it was a lot quicker to do my hair i'm keeping it i am keeping it for sure keeping it like before i was really like Am I gonna buy this? Like, am I gonna really, really buy this expensive, basically $450 blow dryer? And I went back and forth in my head about the decision and I was like, I can always return it. You know what I mean? I can always return it and get my money back and spend it on something more sensible. I'm a more sensible type of person, but I'm keeping it and I would purchase it all over again. Like, 
I can't even describe how excited I am for this blow dryer like if you wear your hair okay let me hold on if you wear your hair straight it's definitely a necessity definitely a necessity if you wear your hair straight once or twice three times out the year not a necessity but it would definitely be a luxury to have um, because if you want to worry about putting minimal heat on your hair getting minimal damage done to your hair like that would be the route that i would take but it's definitely a luxury it's still 429 dollars i would only buy it again on sale i bought it on sale i would only buy it again on sale okay that's the only reason why i was able to justify within myself to get this blow dryer is because I bought it on sale. I'm happy with these results. My hair looks great. If y'all have any questions, please leave them below, but thanks for watching.